Hi, my diamonds. How are you all doing? This your girl, Fina Diamond. Yeah, I am back again. I just made a video. I have been struggling to make this video for a very long time, but finally, I had to put it out there. It wasn't how I wanted, but yeah, um, the video just made my mood everywhere. But yeah, it is what it is. Life goes on. So yeah, there's this video I want to share with you guys. Please let me know what you think about this. I don't really talk about politics. I don't really talk about it on my channel because I feel like we all know what is good and what is bad. And if you're from Nigeria, you know that we've been going through a whole lot in that country. Like Nigerians have seen it all. They have seen it all. Are we even talking about bad roads? Are we talking about no healthcare? Are we talking about kidnapping? Are we talking about what exactly? are we talking about on the negative side that is not happening to Nigeria? Nigeria is just one country that everyone living there now is just living on the edge. Everyone living in that country lives on the edge and it's not supposed to be like that. But hey, that's where we find ourselves. And we are trying our best to see if change can happen. You know, if we can be that change, if we can help out and Getting your PVC is just one thing that can make that happen. I'm sorry I'm not in Nigeria. I know I won't be voting, but at least it would be nice if people that are there vote for their conscience and not for their pocket and not for their belly for just one month or two months, you know. When you're doing things, you think about your future, you think about your family, you think about people, even if you're not here tomorrow, people that you're going to leave behind, you think about them. Because our country has gotten to the stage whereby I would say we stop looking for back pocket when it comes to politics. When it comes to voting, you have to think twice. Because right now, the state of the country is just something that I don't even know how to classify it. And there's this troubling video that I saw and I just want to share this video with you guys. We're going to watch this video together and let me know what you think about this video. So I'm just going to play it. It's a short video, but... Please, 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 I keep begging in my videos. Please, when you watch, comment, share, like. Don't keep it to yourself. Please help a sister grow. And if this is your first time seeing my video, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification as well so you'll be notified. Yeah, so let's dive into this video. Like, seriously, this got me. This really, really got me. And I want to share with you guys. So let's just watch this together. It will be for you to change Nigeria. But it's never reached your own town. Now, kill. After our local, Mr. Obi can come out. A mother that lives in a country that is going through this whole lot. Can you see her condition? She is properly living in Nigeria. Like this woman is properly living it. And she is saying it's a cue. She is saying it's a cue. It's a cue. After the one she wants, then he can now come. Like, seriously. Oh my God. I'm sorry, guys. I have to stop that. Like, that just got me. It is a cue. So regardless of what the person is doing, regardless of if they are good or not, it is a cue. Let's carry on. You understand me? Even say this our local, where the talk say our local, our local. If you read there, you Nobody understand me now. You. If you don't read there, make you just stay patient. Make you see that eight years where she want, you want to do. She be to uh, where is going now? Where are you good? Where are you no good? Where are you better? Where are you die? Where are you no die? Now where are you dead yet? Now fake where are you dead yet? Eight years done. Another person will enter. <laughs> this one is so funny. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? That we should be patient for the eight years to come. Like she herself knew that who she wanted is not going to do anything for the country. But we should be patient again for another eight years. Hey <laughs> God have mercy. Who do us? Who did we offend? Who did we offend? Who do us? Like, trust me, if it's someone that is living a good life that is saying this. I will be like, because the person is living a good life, so they don't really know what the masses are going through. But this woman is properly living Nigeria, like I said. Like, this woman is in the country. 
feeling all the suffering that this country is putting everyone through. And she is saying, yes, um, Buhari is living, uh, Buhari is living his eight years. Yeah, Buhari good, you know good. Buhari that, you know that. He do this, he do that. So we've lived that eight years. Now we have to live another eight years with the way things are going. And then after the eight years, that is when we have to start seeing. It's not like Peter B will get there and things will be better immediately. My dear, no, it's not going to happen. Because at least we have hope. At least we know someone that have us at heart is there at least we know that someone that thinks about us is there at least we know that someone that have a little bit vision for the country is there and now this woman is saying you know what let's not just worry about that let's just say god i ask again who do us who did we offend who did we offend who did we offend so we can go and beg the person like, this is crazy. This is crazy. If you look at this woman, you know that this woman have children. Possibly grandchildren. And she's not thinking about their future. And you can see her condition. She's not even thinking about herself. She's just thinking about the penny that she's going to earn right now. What about tomorrow? Oh my God. This is cringy. This is like, mm, let's carry on. God help me. What? Make Obi go kill. After this eight years, where we want enter again? Make Obi come out. After eight years, then he will come out again. Hey God. Hey <laughs> God. He should go and kill. After eight years, he will come out again. Hey God, where did we, where, who, who did we offend? Who did we offend? Hi, Jesus help us. I don't know, like seriously, I don't know how we got here. After seeing all that we're going through, after seeing all that is going on in that country, and then a mom going through like leaving the country Do you know like when i say leaving the country i mean like she is going through it. like this woman is in the rain sun come anywhere that she is hustling to feed herself and her family and if someone like this can come out and say you know what suffering is good for us do you know what we don't mind another eight years of suffering like seriously i don't know what to say about this this literally got me like this got me and i'm like wow i woke up this morning and i saw the video i was like whoa or more this one passed my power yeah so guys that is it you know what let's just cool down with another one i can't let this woman spoil our day <laughs> there's one i saw and we're going to watch this i just watch this and laugh like this one <laughs> i'm like no i'm not letting this woman ruin my day i i just saw this one and i said you know what that woman is not gonna ruin our day we need we need to hear this one so this is from a veteran actor <laughs> Kenneth Okoko and this guy, he's into politics. He was into acting and now he's into politics. And I just watched this video and I'm on oh, my battery. My battery is down. Let's do this quickly. I just wanted to watch this movie. I'm going to play it right now so you can hear from him. Let's go. Would you want such a man who is blah, blah, bohari, touch rat, eating unpoisoned <laughs> holy communion? God bless PDAPC, a non-existent party. Would you want such a man who has become a food for comedians and creating comic relief to stand shoulder by shoulder to other presidents <laughs> in the world? No, it is not acceptable. Hi, <laughs> God. That got me like... <laughs> the one that got me is the blah, blah, blue, Buhari. <laughs> And he said he's a comedian. <laughs> hey, God help me. I am so sorry. I was like, no, that woman is not going to ruin my day. I'm just going to play something from someone that half says. <laughs> he said, do you want such a man who is blah, blue, buhari? <laughs> hey, guys. Yeah. So, guys, my mood is better now. Guys, if you have your PVC, please, please, you know what to do. You know the right thing to do do the right thing no one need to tell you who to vote for you know already what we're going through no one need to tell you 
what is going on. Even if you are there or not, you know that our country is going through a whole lot right now. So it's up to you to do the right thing. It's up to you to go out there and defend your country. It's up to you to say enough is enough. So yeah, I'm just going to leave it here and I want to say thank you again for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and turn on your post notification. And I will catch you guys again in my next video. Don't forget to show yourself love and always remember diamonds are forever. Love you all. Bye. Mm. Blah, blue, Buhari. <laughs> that got me. That got me silly. Oh my God.